Hi, I'm Gene Cavassis. I'm doing a review today on the DIY Telecaster Guitar Kit from Amazon.com. Now this kit came with everything you need to build your guitar. I mean, it comes with everything. The body, the neck, the frets already in it, the tuning keys, the pickup guard, all the electronics. The only thing it didn't come with was the instructions. Luckily, YouTube was there to the rescue and I was able to find all kinds of great resources to help me build this guitar. With YouTube, I was able to go in there and find wiring diagrams, soldering instructions for putting all that together. Why did I want a Telecaster? Ugh, the Telecaster has got a rich, rich history. A lot of people think the Telecaster guitar is a country music guitar, and yeah, it's used in a lot of country music productions. But the fact is, the Telecaster guitar has a rich rock and roll history. I mean, artists like Bruce Springsteen preferred the Telecaster, and even the famous licks of Stairway to Heaven, played by Jimmy Page in Led Zeppelin, were on a Telecaster. The guitar is one of the first production models of a solid body electric guitar by Fender. The original name was the Broadcaster, but they were basically sued and not able to use that name. So they took the name off and for a while it just had the Fender name and there's a few models out there that are known as the Nocaster. Worth a lot of money, I'm sure. Eventually they settled on the Telecaster name. Now this, understand, is not a Fender. But it's a great little guitar because it was a lot of fun to build. Now, you can watch a lot of videos that talk about the good, the bad. For the most part, if you want to build a guitar and have fun doing it, this is a great guitar. Once you get started on the guitar, it, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. The body has to be sanded down, and I started with 220 sandpaper, and I eventually worked up to about 400 grit. You, uh, once the body's down, you're going to want to think about how you're going to stain the guitar. Now, there's lots of great options out there, so think about it. And what I did was I went online, started looking at photographs of Telecasters, and looking for something that... I would like. A lot of great solid colors, but I finally settled on the Sunburst. I love the look of the classic 60's Baja Sunburst Telecaster. Once you decide on how you want to stain your guitar, there's a couple ways you can do it. Of course, you can go to the big box store. You can buy all kinds of different wood stains. But what I decided to do was I went on to a craft store, Michael's in fact, and I bought acrylic paints. These paints are inexpensive. You can get them online or, like I say, at any of the craft stores. And the great thing with these are they're water-soluble. So you can thin them with water, and it's about 10% paint to 90% water when you're mixing up your stains. So on the Sunburst, I started with a straight-up yellow stain or yellow mixture and stain the basic body front and back of the guitar. Then after that dried I came back and mixed up some a red kind of a maroon red color and using a spray gun sprayed the outer edge of it giving it the soft red glow around the edges. After that dried I came back and used the black paint straight out of the bottle with a foam brush and painted the edge of the guitar with the black, and then once again, thinning that paint down to 90% water and 10% paint, sprayed the final black edging around it to give it that soft edge. After that dried, I then went to a product called True Oil. Now, True Oil is made for gun stocks, but it works great in this case, and it can be easily applied. It's cheap and runs about nine dollars for a small bottle and a small bottle will be more than enough to do the body of your guitar. You apply it with a cotton rag, pouring a small amount on the body and rubbing it in to the body until you've evenly covered the entire body. Let it dry for about two hours, come back and do it again. You can do a light sanding with like 400 grit in between each one and start working it. I actually put about 12 coats on this guitar to get the shine that I wanted. 
I also, on the neck, applied um, straight linseed oil to that, but then for the back of the neck, the headstock, I used just 100% true oil on that. The logo on the end, now a lot of people, if you want to put the Fender logo or the Telecaster logo, I felt like because this is not a true Fender, I didn't want to use that, but I did want to use the Telecaster name. So I went online, took the Fender logo, and played with it a little bit to create the Telecaster logo. So once I had that done, I was able to buy online inkjet wet slide decal material. This is great product. You're able to do your design whatever you want. Now I used Photoshop to create mine, but you could use even as Windows Office, you know, or Word to create it. Print it on your inkjet and then cut it out, dip, sit it in water, and apply it to the body of the guitar or to the headstock. Once you've applied that, you also come back and you put a clear back over the top of that blending it and sealing it into the body. Now, some of the, the downsides to the guitar. One that I noticed when we first started was the body is not hard wood. It's a lighter wood and you've got to be very careful with it because you can dent it. I could probably sink fingernails into this. Even with 12 coats of clear, the clear will help you harden up the body. But the big thing I've noticed is the guitar has a tendency to be neck heavy. It, it pulls down. When you're wearing a, a strap with the guitar, it does want to lean down. So as long as you're aware of it, it's not an issue, but you do have to watch out. Usually when I'm playing, I won't wear a watch because I don't want to scratch the body. Once I started assembling the guitar, one of the things that the guitar came stock with is on the bridge plate, the holes are drilled in the back for the strings, guitar strings to go through. But in the classic original Telecasters, the string actually went through the body. They originally did this because they felt like by running it through the body, it gave a better tone. It improved its sound. And Fender has built their guitars, the Telecasters, that way ever since. So I wanted to run it through the body as well. So I picked up online these barrels that can be pushed down in or drilled in, pushed down in, and then your guitar strings can run through that, running through the body. Then I had to drill the bridge plate out so that it could handle the strings coming out from there. Coming through the body, now unfortunately I don't have a drill press, so these were hand drilled and tried to be as straight as possible and did an okay job at it, but I think I could have done better with a drill press. The guitar wiring, everything's complete on it and you do have to do some soldering. I looked up soldering on YouTube and literally there is a couple of great videos on soldering the guitar. Amazingly, I was able to move through it. It worked really, really well. All in all, a great little kit. The guitar has good sound. It has a, it was a lot of fun to build and I'd love to do another one. In fact, I feel bad because I wish now I would have videotaped the actual building of the guitar. Now, I'm not by any means a great guitar player, but let me show you how great this little guitar sounds. Thanks a lot for watching. I really enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll get back with you. I look forward to answering them. You guys have a great day. Hmm. <laughs>